Guys, this is the last video I'm recording as your teacher. How sad slash exciting is that? Like exciting because, wow, you guys finished the seventh grade year. I can't believe <laughs> this is how my first year ended and your seventh grade year ended. I had zero expectations that this is how it would go. But like at the same time, wow, that's just, it's crazy. I'm not, I'm not going to keep talking about it because I'm going to get emotional. We're on page 64. Like I promised you, we're going to do some two-step equations practice. We're going to start off um, a bit easier and then get a bit more challenging. 7EE 2.4. Okay? If you guys are actually doing this with me, you're going to go in next year and um, you're just going to be pros at this. And I'm going to be so proud of you. So our first problem is a negative 11B plus 7 equals 40. So maybe go ahead and see if you can solve this one on your own. If you remember the steps that we've been doing. Um, because we did learn two-step equations back November 15th. So the steps stay the same. Step 1, box up the variable, lock it up. And step 2, we draw our line. Okay, but this is two-step equation because they consider the first step when you combine like terms, when you get the constants together. So we got to get the constants together first. This positive 7 needs to be over there. We need to combine like terms. So you subtract 7 from both sides. 7 minus 7, it goes away. You got to bring down the negative 11 with the B. Don't just write down B. It's negative 11 with the B. Okay, there's going to be another step. That's why it's two step. Now, 40 minus 7 is 33. Okay, but hold on. We don't have B by itself. So, don't add 11, guys. They're touching. They're married. They're being multiplied. So you have to divide, okay? You gotta pay attention. When they're touching, they're married, they're multiplied, divide. Divide by negative 11, divide by negative 11. Because what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. Negative 11 divided by negative 11. Well, anything divided by itself is just one. It's one B, we're lazy, we don't write the one out front. 33 divided by negative 11. Well, a positive divided by a negative is a negative. 33 divided by 11, 3. So negative 3. And remember, you can plug this in and check. Negative 11 times B. Well, B is negative 3. So negative 11 times negative 3. That's 33. So 33 plus 7 equals 40. Yes. Okay, example B. 41 equals 12D minus 7. Okay, so this one is just like the last one that we did. So use the first problem and see if you guys can solve it. Box up the variable. And just get used to seeing them switch which side the expressions are on. It doesn't matter. Draw the line. Okay, we got to combine our like terms. We have to get this negative 7 over there. So how do you do that? You have to do the opposite. It's negative 7. It's minus 7. Remember, negative and minus, same thing. So we got to add 7 to both sides. Negative 7 plus 7 cancels out. Wait, why is my battery running low? I hope that didn't stop filming. That would stink. Did it stop filming? Let me see. Let me turn my... Sorry, guys. I think I forgot to... Okay, it didn't stop filming. I forgot to um turn on the power strip. So negative 7 plus 7 cancels out equals 0. 41 plus 7, that's 48. 
bring down the 12D. So we still have our line. We rebox it up. And now we do the second official step. So basically what you do for two step equations is just like double one step equation. Okay, so the first step is the addition subtraction step. The second step is the multiplication division step. So we need to, they're touching, they're married, divide. 12 divided by 12 is 1D. We're lazy, we don't write the 1, we know it's there. 48 divided by 12. You can use your calculator if you don't know it, but it's 4. And you can always plug it back in and check. 12 times 4, 48 minus 7 equals 41. Okay, so those are basic ones that you guys have seen in class pretty often. Okay, the next one's going to have a fraction, but don't let that scare you. Okay, it's not any more difficult. You guys are pros. You guys are champs at this. And I just want to thank all of you that are actually watching this video right now. Seriously, thank you. I appreciate you. Text me. I'll give you extra credit because you're actually doing what you're supposed to be doing every single week. And that's just incredible. Okay. Box up the variable and draw our line. Now, same step. Combine like terms. Okay? Don't even worry about the thing touching the variable yet. Don't worry about that. Always get the constants together. The two things without the variables. Right now it's adding three, so we subtract three. So three minus three is zero. It's gone. So all we have left on the left side is k divided by four. Remember that fraction bar means divide. So right now that's k divided by four. Equal sign, 14 minus three, 11. Okay, now this is just like the one step equation problems we were practicing. As long as you know that k divided, the, the fraction bar means divide, then you're good to go. k divided by four, how do you undo this division of four? Multiply, undo the division, undo the fractions by multiplication. Multiply what's in the denominator, four, Divided by 4 is 1. It goes away. It just leaves us with a K. Okay. What we do to one side, we do to the other. So we multiply this side by 4. So we got to multiply this side by 4. 11 times 4 is 44. Plug it in, plug it in. K is 44. K, this is 44. 44 over 4. So 44 divided by 4. That's 11. So 11 plus 3 equals 14. Yes. All right. So the next one we're going to do, it might look scary. It's not. Okay. There's a trick to it. So 9 parentheses, P minus 4 equals negative 18. Now, don't let the parentheses scare you. Don't let that block out your thinking. You can do this. Okay, there's truly two different ways you can do this. One is the way that um, is, it takes, it's honestly more work. You could distribute, you could circle this and do the rainbow where you multiply the nine by each number and then it's a two-step equation. You could do that where it'd be nine times p is nine p, nine times negative four is negative 36 equals negative 18. 
the easier way, guys, honestly, you just divide. Let me get a different color pen. So this 9 is being multiplied. Remember, parentheses mean multiply. This 9 is being multiplied by both of these terms. How do we undo multiplication of that? Division. So if they give you that parentheses out front, just divide it. Okay? 9 divided by 9 cancels out, and it just leaves you with P minus 4. Because 9 minus 9 is 1. I mean, 9 divided by 9 is 1. We don't need to write times 1 out front. Negative 18 divided by 9. Negative 18 divided by 9 is negative 2. So this 9 was being multiplied by both, by everything in the parentheses. So we just divided to get rid of it. Now it's just a one-step equation. Box up the variable. Draw the line. Combine like terms. Let's get this negative 4 over there. So we add 4. Add 4. Well, that cancels out. So that just leaves us with a P equals negative 2 plus 4 is a positive 2. Plug it in and check. So remember, PEMDAS says you have to do the parentheses first. So 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So that's negative 2 in the parentheses. Negative 2 times 9 equals negative 18, yes. Okay, two more examples. Example E. We're going to try another one like that. Negative 30 equals 5 times x plus 1. So again, you could be like, hey, I know this is distributing. I know this 5, because this is all in parentheses, it's being multiplied by both. And you could just rewrite it. Bring down the negative 30 and the equal sign. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times positive 1 is positive 5. And then it's a two-step equation. If you want to solve it that way, go for it. Go for it. That way is fine. You'll get the same solution. Because you'll subtract 5 and get negative 35, and then divide by 5 and get negative 7. Okay, I just find the other way easier. It's just my preferred way. So my first step is I divide both sides by 5. I see that this is being multiplied, so I just get rid of it. Negative 30 divided by 5 is negative 6. 5 divided by 5 is 1. It goes away. It just leaves us with that x plus 1. You can write it in parentheses. There's no need to because it's not being multiplied by any number out front anymore. And now I like just having a one-step equation because I'm really good at solving these. I know we box up the variable. I know we draw that line. And then I know i got to get this plus 1 over there by doing the opposite, subtracting 1 from both sides. Negative 6 minus 1, negative 7, just leaves us with an x. So x equals negative 7, and you can plug it in and check. PEMDAS, p, p, parentheses first. Negative 7 equals x, so plug it in for x. Negative 7 plus 1, so seven, negative 7, 7 feet below ground plus 1 is negative 6. Negative 6 times 5, because it's in parentheses, so negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. So these are all the types of problems you're going to see on your last Khan Academy for this week, for the two-step equations Khan Academy. I'm going to challenge you guys and just show you one more that you're going to learn next year, okay, where it has variables on both sides. So multi-step equation with variables on both sides. Okay. So 
so the, the steps don't change. We lock up the variables. There's more than one and that's okay. We draw our line and then we combine like terms. Okay, but this time we have more than one like term. We have the coefficients with their variables. That's one like term because they have the same variable. And then we have our constants, the numbers without the variables. It doesn't matter which one you start with. So first, I'm just going to get this positive 3 over there because that's what I'm used to doing. Minus 3, minus 3. So that leaves me with just a 5k over here because that canceled out. Bring down the 2k. We haven't touched it. 12 minus 3 is 9. But wait, this 2k and 5k can also be combined. We can get this 2k and bring it over there. So this is where it gets tricky. You subtract the whole 2k. We want to move the entire 2k. We're not separating the 2 and the k. We're moving the whole thing. So we're subtracting it because right now it's a positive 2k. Well, 2k's minus 2k's goes away. What we do to one side, we do to the other. So 5k minus 2k equals 3k. Bring down the 9. They're touching, they're being married, multiplied, divide both sides by the coefficient, 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. It leaves us with k. We're lazy. We don't write the 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Plug it in and check. Plug in 3 for k and check. They're touching. They're being multiplied. So 5 times 3, 15 plus 3 is 18. So the left side equals 18. The left expression is 18. Let's check it with the right side. 2 times k, so 2 times 3. 6 plus 12 equals 18. 18 equals 18. So that's more advanced. You're going to see that and learn that next year. Guys, if you have any questions about this, please, 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 please ask me because you guys got to be champs and pros about this next year. Um, definitely got more difficult with the parentheses and the fractions. I'm here for you guys. I love you. It has been an honor teaching you. I miss you. Come give me a hug next year and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful summer. Be safe. I love you.